in the scanning this morning uh, that, that yeah. we couldn't treat. I just could treat emails that came in last night. Uh, yep. Some yeah. of them I referred to you, so uh, let's let's see what you came up with. I know you selected one which got the most common uh, mistakes and the most juicy one that actually can uh, can show a lot of improvements. So let's uh, yeah. let's see what you've done, and then we go to uh, some of my weeps that I opened. Okay. So this is something I was able to do, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, as mentioned earlier, obviously this is just one yeah. JPEG. Let's or let's open this okay. because it's 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 small. It's hard to see this image. Yeah, let's make okay. it a little bigger. So, uh, so he came to me. Mm -hmm. You have to bear in mind, in order for anyone to see a major improvement in the renders, you need to have those passes in there. Okay? Yeah. Uh, for instance, in my in this particular case, I would have probably uh, have uh, the shadows being cast in a different direction, just mm -hmm. to complement the building. Yeah, because so we don't we don't see the defined line. This is, I guess, this is the most major mistake when when users positioning the lights. And the lights are yeah. not defining the contour lines of the building. It's yes, everything we see the line, but it's kind of you know it's not defined enough. Yes, exactly. So imagine if uh, if this guy was a client, they came to me with this image and asked me how to improve it. Mm -hmm. I would, the first thing I would have asked is just the three S Max files. Yeah. I would have asked the client to render those passes that we've discussed earlier. And then they would have given me so much to work with. Right. Okay. Yeah. So all I've got here is a JPEG, nothing else. Yeah. Okay. It's almost an it's almost an impossible job, but however. Yeah. Just I to give a direction to, to a guy how he can improve his his work. Yeah. Really good idea. Okay. There. Mm -hmm. So you went from what was to this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can see the cars really popping out, being shiny. Yeah. Yeah. So how how you know the first uh, I've started as as discussed before with the curves, mm -hmm. I bumped up the curves in order to get really contrast the images, mm -hmm. and then the colors as well, change the colors a bit, desaturate it slightly, and then you know on trees and things it was still a bit too vivid the colors so I went there mm -hmm. see that the tree and just desaturated it a bit yeah. further. For the sky, I just went around and selected, see the sky area, mm -hmm. desaturated it. So inside this, inside the sky, you see the Curve, curves and the yeah and the yeah, saturation desaturated it, mm -hmm. and the curves just um, bump up the uh, you know the whiter area, so you can see a, a, a clear gra uh, um, gradient between the. The, uh, the horizon and the upper areas of the sky. Yeah, earlier it was kind of washed out. You were not. Can you hide the the sky for 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 a sec so we'll see the real uh, the real render was. Yeah, the, the real. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. So we don't really it see was... the gradient. I also see this mistake yeah. uh, a lot. This is what yeah. makes the image look flat. They don't have the gradients. When you have the gradients. It doesn't have to be gradient yeah. of a of a sky. It can be various of gradients of different lights inside exactly. the building, outside the building. But when you have those gradients, you start getting depth of those exactly. particular objects. Totally, totally, totally. I totally agree with you. It's something actually I forgot to mention to you. You know, during our conversation, is that in real life everything has a gradient. Mm -hmm. Everything. So when you have flat areas such as this. Yeah. You know, that's what gives away being uh, being um, being a 3D render. Right. It looks flat. There's no and, great, and, and and it looks yeah, very it looks flat, yeah. uh, uh, how you say conti not continuous, but it's it's gotta be some variation of of some yes. tones or yeah. of something. It cannot yeah, be just one flat surface. Yeah. Because that's how life is. Everything is a gradient in life. Mm -hmm. Everything. And when you break up the surfaces with specularity and and uh, reflections and things like that, that's what will give it that variation, the gradient and things like that. And uh, uh, I would also, just for the exteriors, I would use that plugin that I've mentioned to you. Mm -hmm. that will just, because I didn't have that in hand to so this one, I've just used this the vignette. See that? 
I just started it. Very, very, it's very subtle, but that's the only way I can break away from the, you know, from the flatness. It was a, a very, very obvious in the building. That's how you went from this to this. Right. You, you, you see that? And uh, yeah, and I see even the, the shadows of the trees and everything is like kind of popping out. The image is, yeah, uh, yeah. was lacking of, of contrast. And depth, and depth, depth, lots of it. So you see the area there? That's exactly what I've done. You see that? Mm -hmm. I've added some details there. Yeah. And ultimately, ultimately, I would have, I would have needed to what, work what in Max. What was the name of that? Uh, what that cool plugin? I want users to uh, take some notes. I hope, I yeah. hope yeah, all we... the guys taking notes and then you know writing down the websites for the references. But what was yeah. the name of that plugin uh, again? Uh, Enrich, Enrich Pro. Enrich Pro, yeah. I'm gonna get my hand. And I've actually, <laughs> yeah, and uh, I've actually, I've actually got, um, I've actually got a tutorial on my website mm. called oh. Rich, Rich Dirt, and I actually show how to use this particular plugin. It was done at the time; it was done for Mentoray, but you now you can do it with V-Ray because all this Enrich Pro is available for V-Ray. It's been available for V-Ray for some time, okay. and uh, I use all those elements in order to make a building to just pop. Yeah. yeah. And oh yeah. And lastly, one thing every user should never forget is to have overblown areas in their renders because then you lose all the quality, uh, mm -hmm. all the information in the image. It, it becomes more difficult to play with. Right. Basically. Right. Yeah, I had those quite few of those in in the whips that I fixed, in the works. Yeah. Uh, do you have any anything else, or should I uh, move to uh, to my Photoshop file and? Uh, yeah, I think you should.